Hi crocheters of the world, I'm Wana and this is Wana's crochet channel on YouTube. In this tutorial I want to show you how to crochet the broomstick laced without the broomstick. So it's easier and will be so nice to crochet scarves and so many other things uh, without having that uh, large broomstick or um, knitting needle in your hand and it's really really easy just watch so we need a multiple of five two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty let's say twenty so multiple of five plus one more chain because we will work into the second chain from the hook or for a single crochet and we just want to go on and to work another uh, to work the first row single a as a single crochet row on our multiple of five okay so now let us begin to work the broomstick lace without the broomstick so chain one and turn so we have to turn and insert the hook into the first single crochet and make a nice slip stitch or chain one or I don't know it's a slip stitch I think so pull up a loop this will be the length okay of your um, loops and now go on into the next take it really nice and tight here go on into the next pull up a loop yarn over pull through this loop and pull up the long loop. Is the hook into the next and work exactly the same thing like this. Now this is the second, the third actually and all that we have to do is to go on like this and to work our loops. Now here you keep them tight and you work only with the working yarn, okay? So don't work very tight. Okay. Now, when I have enough loops on my hook, I can just let them go and take my last two, okay, as a measure insert the hook into the next and continue on and into the next and continue on now you can make them longer shorter depends on what you want to crochet with this beautiful stitch actually it is beautiful only that with that broomstick or knitting needle it was a little bit strange to work for me actually okay now again let them go and take only the last two just to have have them for the length okay and that's it so can you see how I take my keep my crochet hook like this keep them firmly here and continue on okay again this little chain now don't worry they are really nice and tight put there with this little this little thing it's actually like a knot so won't let them go okay and I am finally work my last two one and the last actually the last okay now this is what I have this is my first row of loops and now I just want to 
turn my work, so we need to turn our work. And we work, we put one, two, three, four, five, exactly as for the broomstick on the hook. Oops. And now take from the back side your working yarn, like this. Yarn over, pull through all and chain one. And now begin to work through these five loops, five single crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, this is my first group of five. And now let us continue on taking five loops on the hook. Two, three, four, and five. Yarn over, pull through all. Now we have two loops on the hook, single crochet. And this is my first single crochet on the second group of five now. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have to single crochet five times over each group of five loops. And now again, one, two, three, four and five. Yarn over, pull through all. Two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two. Now we have the first single crochet here and let us go on with the second, the third, the fourth and the fifth. Okay. And now let us work our last group of five loops, two, three, four and five. This is my last loop here. Okay, yarn over, pull through all. Two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we have our first single crochet of this group. Second, the third, the fourth and the fifth. Now I choose to work one more single crochet row. So chain one and turn and work one single crochet into each your single crochet. Of course you can work half double crochet, double crochet as you wish. Now here it is my first oh, pattern to repeat actually my first broomstick lace row. It's ready and it's just perfect. Now let me show you again. So we begin with chain one and turn your work, insert the hook into the first single crochet and work this slip stitch, chain one and the first loop. Okay, now insert the hook into the next and chain one. It will be like a nice knot here and the second loop and continue on like this. The important thing for you to have the same measure is to keep them tight on your crochet hook while working another one like this okay so Now I think I have enough. I will take my last two, let go the other and continue on. Okay, we can work them in one row longer loops and in another smaller loops just to have a different effect okay so we can play with this thing with the length of the loops as you can see it's really easy to work them Now I continue on, of course, until I will have my last loops ready. And I am about to finish this row too, just to show you another way of working them. So we 
cannot we don't have to work them together now I finished I just want to turn my work and I will work them one by one so take your first loop yarn over insert the hook into it and chain one to secure now insert the hook again into the loop pull through yeah, uh, two loops on the hook yarn over pull through two and we have the first single crochet now into the second two loops on the hook yarn over pull through two into the third yarn over pull through the loop two loops on the hook yarn over pull through two and we actually work them one by one we will have exactly the same number of stitches of course only that we will have a very very nice effect for a scarf actually or uh, worked in a cotton thread you can work beautiful curtains so like this then I want to work one more single crochet and so on okay I just repeat a little bit the pattern for you just to show you how it looks look at it isn't it beautiful so repeating this pattern uh, you will work you will have a beautiful for example scarf so you can work in no time a very beautiful scarf without needle uh, knitting needle and without broomstick and so on only with your crochet hook so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to like me and to let me comment if you like my tutorials and see you at the next tutorials. Bye bye!